Hi guys, so today's video is about a new microphone that Sennheiser just released. This is the MKE 200. It's a small, compact, basically directional on-camera microphone. I've been using it for the past month. I really like it. One of the reasons why I like it is because it fits perfectly on my Sony A6600, which is what I'm using it with right now. Uh, it's nice, compact. It also comes with interchangeable cables, which is good because it means you can use it both with uh, with DSLR cameras, but you can also plug it in to uh, devices such as cell phones, for example. It does actually come with a little windscreen, uh, but if you want it to be even smaller, you can take that off and, uh, like I said, it's gonna be even more compact, except then, obviously, if there's some really strong wind, uh, you're probably gonna hear that. Right now, there's a mild, like, little bit of wind, but not, not much, so you shouldn't be able to hear anything. Uh, but maybe I'm gonna quickly take this off. And here's the windscreen. So now uh, you guys are gonna hear basically what the mic performs like uh, in this very, very mild wind uh, without the windscreen. Now, obviously, whenever you can, I would say just put this uh, little furry thing on there so you can, you can stop any of that unnecessary wind noise. But anyways, this is how the microphone performs. We're outside and otherwise it's pretty, pretty quiet. Now, kind of what I'm testing right now is just to see how directional this microphone is. There is a, a generator running just, you know, a, a block up the street here. Uh, in the opposite direction. So now I'm gonna turn around. That's basically where the generator is. So I can hear it pretty well. Hopefully the mic doesn't pick it up too much. Now we have a dog barking there. <laughs> so hopefully this quick test gives you a sort of an idea of how the microphone performs when it comes to just picking up the, the, the audio from one direction. So hopefully you don't hear too much of the noise here from uh, the side or from behind the camera. All right, racing up a hill here. See if I win or my son wins. Who's gonna win? Me. I win. <laughs> you win. You're the winner. Yeah! Now another thing to keep in mind about this microphone is that uh, Sennheiser, in order to keep this microphone very compact, uh, did not uh, include a shock mount. <laughs> All right, so disregard what I just said because there is actually an internal shock mount in this microphone. Uh, it's something that uh, one of the users on, on uh, YouTube just told me. I checked it out, it's in fact true. I assume there's no shock mount because I couldn't see one and it's actually pretty ingenious how Sennheiser did this. So they managed to keep the whole size of the microphone small but yet internally they basically hit the little capsule, uh, it basically has like a tiny little shock mount that holds the mic in there. And so that's gonna minimize any handling noise. Uh, there's even an internal wind protection uh, inside the capsule. Pretty cool, and again, the fact that they managed to do it on such a small size for such a small price, uh, that just makes me wanna like this microphone even more. <laughs> oh my goodness, Woody, you okay? Woody is dead, he can hear you. <gasps> Woody, you wake up. No, Woody is dead. No, he he's not dead. So my son right now spot, spotted some deer here while we're walking and uh, uh, this is how I sound. I'm actually right behind the microphone kind of whispering and now there's like some generator or something behind me. So anyways, this is how it sounds. I'm obviously not talking directly into the microphone because it's pointing away from me. So now I'm going to do a quick taste so you guys can hear how directional this microphone is. So obviously right now it's pointing right at me, but now I'm going to rotate the camera. And now I'm behind the camera, about the same distance, about an arm's length. This is how it sounds. I'm like right next to the microphone, but again behind it. This is from the right side of the mic, and now on the left side of the microphone. Now just as a comparison, this is how the built-in microphone on the Sony A6600 sounds. But uh, as you guys probably already know, you're always better off having an actual mounted directional microphone than uh, using whatever's built into your camera. Especially if there's going to be any kind of wind. Like right now we don't have any wind, but if there was any wind, uh, built-in camera microphones are just horrible with that. And now I'm using the Rode Video Micro, which is uh, another on-camera compact directional microphone. It's actually very similar uh, to the MKE 200 from Sennheiser. Uh, it also doesn't require any power. Uh, it's and it's fairly small now. It's not as small as the the MKE 200 and now I'm back with the Sennheiser MKE 200 uh, Now a little tip if you guys are looking to use the Sony a6600 for your vlogging setup Which like I said, I, I think it's a perfect camera for a compact vlogging setup uh, The only thing you want to keep in mind is that because the flip-up screen uh, is basically right behind the the culture mount 
So if you were to mount the, the microphone there, you would basically not be able to see the screen, so you can't perfectly frame your shots. But there's an easy solution to this, and that's thanks to this little mount that you can attach off to the side of the camera, and that's how I have my microphone mounted to the Sony A6600. It's a very cheap uh, and a very simple to install mount. Once you have it on there, it's kind of out of the way, uh, and it lets you just mount the microphone there. So hopefully this video gives you guys a good idea of what you're gonna expect from the, the new Sennheiser microphone. And also if you guys are looking to build your own kind of a compact, light and affordable vlogging setup, then uh, take a look at what I have, which is again the Sennheiser MKE uh, 200 mic with the Sony A6600 and I have the kit lens on it, uh, which is uh, again, small, compact, light and affordable. Uh, as always, all the links are in the description of this video, but even better, head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com and over there you guys can find out uh, more in-depth sort of reviews about this camera, some of the higher-end lenses I use with this and stuff like that. Uh, while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to my newsletter so you always stay on top of all the latest posts I have. Anyways, bye!